Welcome. Today I'm going to be unboxing Deep Vents. I just got it today. Uh, this game is uh, is published by uh, Red Raven Games, and uh, it was designed by Ryan Lacotte. So the same uh, guy who made uh, Above and Below. This is my second game that he's made. Um, I'm really excited about this game. Uh, I really love animal games, and uh, so I was really happy to see that he had made a really cool animal game. So I definitely wanted to get this game. I also looked at it and I was like, wow, I love this game. So let's take a look and see what's in this box for Deep Vents. There we go. All right. Let's see here. Along cracks in the ocean floor, plumes of black and white, superheated water pump relentlessly into the depths. They provide precious heat and an abundance of minerals to the near-freezing abyssal waters of the deep. Microscopic archaea and other extremophiles live off the heat and minerals to form the base of a unique food chain that hosts a variety of exotic deep-sea creatures. In deep vents, players control a hydrothermal ecosystem with a host of strange and deadly predators to flourish in the unforgiving depths. Efficiency is key. Other hungry ecosystems grow nearby, and not everyone will survive. So this is Deep Vents. Pretty cool introductory. Obviously, this is the rule book. Comes with 100 Archaea tokens. 21 shell tokens, 4 track cubes, lots and lots of awesome hex tiles. Awesome. Can't wait to uh, learn how to play this game. I've heard it's definitely got some depth to it too. But uh, since it's about animals, I'll figure it out how to play it pretty soon. Um, this, is, this game will be a priority to learn how to play, for sure. Um, let's see. So, pretty nice... It shows all of the different animals, it looks like, and their abilities in the game. So, that's cool. Okay, well, let's see what else we got here. So, here's the tokens. These are the big ones. You'll exchange the little ones for these when you start running out of the big ones, from what I understand. But these will be worth some points at the end of the game. Although, they won't be worth a whole lot of points at all, so um, they won't be worth a ton of points, and I'll have to get that one later, let's see here, we have more tokens, these are the ones you'll use the most, most of the time, these tokens here, pretty nice, kind of remind me of uh, um, the cubes from Terraforming Mars, except they're purple. So, I won't open those right now. Uh, here's some other cubes. Nice clear ones. Here's the seashells. <laughs> Man, these look cool. These, I think if you have two of these each, are worth one point. Two each. They're really, really cool though, aren't they? Wow. They look like Axel seashells. That is awesome phenomenal wow i love that that's really cool actual seashells that's really cool oh man that's cool very cool cool components for sure uh put those back in there okay there we go and here's the tiles the hexes, the hex tiles, punch outs. So we've got uh, porous rock, and we've got two giant squids, and uh, the glowing medusa. So some sort of uh, jelly of some kind, I believe. Then we have some white smokers and some angler fish. Wow. Those are cool. 
Giant Tube Worms. Undersea Volcano. Ooh, there's the Goblin Shark. And Lantern Fish. And the uh, Scaly Foot Snail. And then we got uh, the Bull Chow Chowlot. Never heard of this one. I've definitely never heard of that one. So, um, it looks like sort of like a whale almost. I wonder if it is. And just, they decided to call it that, whatever that is. Then there's the Yeti Crab. Yeah, that's really weird looking, right? And the Vampire Squid. Oh, I know a lot about Vampire Squid. They have the ability to turn their bodies inside and out. It's really weird. So, uh, that's the Vampire Squid. We have some more Vampire Squid and Yeti Crabs and Deep Vents. Everybody will start with a Deep Vent, from what I understand. And uh, more Goblin Sharks and Lantern Fish and... More, uh, oh, we have Colossal Squid. See, the uh, Colossal Squid is actually bigger than the Giant Squid. I didn't make it up. I keep telling my folks there's a Colossal Squid that's bigger than the Giant Squid. So, um, it's like twice the size of the uh, Giant Squid. The Colossal Squid. So, Towering Smokers. There's still more. There's uh, the Isopod Swarm. Yeah, don't they look like some sort of giant pill bug? Well, that's an isopod. Those are really weird. And then we have the gulper eels. Those are weird. And the giant oarfish. They're huge. The giant oarfish is a huge fish. And looks like that's all of the different uh, hexes in the game. So that's it for this unboxing video. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.